Hello and welcome back to African Odyssey. Today we explore a deeply troubling chapter in history, we delve into the atrocities committed under the rule of King Leopold II of Belgium in the Congo Free State. We uncover the dark truth behind the exploitation, violence, and suffering inflicted upon the Congolese people during this period. King Leopold II, driven by a desire for wealth and imperial expansion, established his personal colony, the Congo Free State, in the late 19th century. Under the guise of humanitarianism and civilizing mission, Leopold embarked on a systematic campaign to exploit the Congo's vast natural resources. Rubber, ivory, and minerals became the prized commodities that fueled Leopold's insatiable greed. To extract these resources, the Congolese people were subjected to forced labor, slavery, and brutal violence. Their lives and livelihoods were ruthlessly exploited for the profit of Leopold and his associates. During Leopold's rule, the Congolese people endured unimaginable suffering. Forced labor was enforced through a system of brutal coercion, with villages and families held hostage to ensure productivity. Those who failed to meet rubber quotas or resisted the regime faced severe punishment, including mutilation, torture, and death. Countless villages were razed, communities torn apart, and lives shattered under the weight of Leopold's tyranny. The Congolese people were subjected to rampant abuse, with reports of widespread rape, massacres, and the burning of villages as means of subjugation and terror. The exact number of people who lost their lives as a result of King Leopold II's rule in the Congo Free State is difficult to determine with certainty. However, Historical records and estimates indicate that millions of Congolese people perished due to the brutal exploitation, forced labor, violence, and diseases that ravaged the region during that time. The atrocities committed under King Leopold's regime, including widespread violence, forced labor, and the devastation of communities, resulted in immense suffering and loss of life. The consequences of King Leopold's crimes in the Congo had a profound and devastating impact on the Congolese people leaving a lasting legacy of pain and trauma. News of the atrocities in the Congo eventually reached the international community, sparking public outrage and condemnation. Missionaries, journalists, and human rights activists played a crucial role in exposing the horrors and demanding an end to the exploitation. Prominent figures like Edmund D. Morell and William Henry Shepard dedicated their efforts to shedding light on the crimes committed under Leopold's rule. Edmund D. Morell, a British journalist and activist, founded the Congo Reform Association, tirelessly working to expose the atrocities and mobilize public opinion against Leopold's regime. Roger Casement, an Irish diplomat and human rights activist, conducted an investigative mission to the Congo, compiling extensive evidence of the brutalities and human rights abuses. Their tireless advocacy led to international investigations, exposing the extent of the atrocities and increasing pressure on Leopold to relinquish control. The Casement Report, published in 1904, provided a comprehensive account of the crimes committed, detailing the forced labor, violence, and exploitation endured by the Congolese people. The impact of King Leopold's crimes in the Congo cannot be overstated. The estimated death toll from disease, violence, and exploitation during this period ranges in the millions. The scars left behind continue to affect the Congolese people and the collective memory of the nation. The horrors of King Leopold's rule serve as a stark reminder of the consequences of unchecked colonial power, the dehumanization of indigenous peoples, and the urgent need to protect human rights. The events in the Congo shed light on the dark underbelly of colonialism and fuel ongoing conversations about justice and reparations. International pressure and growing awareness of the atrocities eventually led to King Leopold's relinquishment of control over the Congo Free State. In 1908, the Belgian government officially took over the colony, though challenges and exploitation persisted in the years to come. The legacy of King Leopold's crimes continues to shape the Congo's history and its struggle for socio-economic and political stability. The events have sparked ongoing debates about reparations, historical justice, and the responsibility of nations and individuals to confront and learn from past atrocities. Join us next time as we explore more stories of historical significance and strive to learn from the past, ensuring that such atrocities are never repeated. If you found this video informative and intriguing, 
give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more captivating content, until next time.